here's an easy way to fill a tank that's hard to get to. Use a submersible pump. I'm doing a water change on my farm tank. The, for whatever reason, the, the other day the ammonia was really high. I drained it and put it back, and then this time the ammonia was good, but the nitrites and nitrates were still high, so I'm doing a water change on it. And since it's at the bottom of the rack, and it's full of these little potted plants with sand, there's no real easy way to just pour water in without, I can get some in, I can, <coughs> excuse me, I got little two gallon buckets that I can pour over the top, but it'll wash all the sand out of the pots. So I'm using a little submersible pump that I got from Amazon. Works really well. I've got, just some clear aquarium hose, I don't know what size it is, attached to the pump. And it's winding its way down and around and in. And at the other end, I've got a pre-filter that I'd normally use to siphon water out of a tank so I don't pick up fish. And this time I'm using it just to diffuse water going into the tank so I don't, you know, uh, push a lot of the sand out of the pots. I ended up knocking one pot over at the end. I'm going to have to add some sand back to it. But other than that, it's a pretty good deal works really well. Um, I'm filling these two gallon buckets one at a time and dumping them into the five gallon bucket because that's just easiest, at least I think it is. And I've almost got this full. I've been keeping it about half full. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up all the way and I will check the parameters later because I want to get some fish in here. Mosquitoes keep showing up inside the mosquito larvae and I don't want that and I know my wife would kill me if she found out. So. Put some guppies in here or some sort, some sort of live bear that'll eat the mosquito larvae as they go.